Hey guys, it's Megan. So in today's video, I'm going to be starting the first episode in my Wreck This Journal series. I've wanted to do one of these for such a long time, probably since 2013. It's been one of my goals in life to complete one of these for like a while. So I thought, what better way to motivate myself to complete one than to make a video series about it. So in this episode, I did three pages, technically four, but... We're just going to count it as three, but without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the first page that I decided to do in my Wreck This Journal was the page that says close the journal and write or draw something on the edges. And the reason that I chose to do this first is because when you start like doing stuff in the journal, it's going to make it thicker and harder to do this. So I figured I'd just get this out of the way. And I know a lot of people, like I didn't want to spend too much time on this because obviously it's just going to get ruined. But I know a lot of people, they do like a rainbow on the edges, so I didn't want to do that. So what I did was I took a box of crayons and I took out all of the purple shades because as you guys probably know, purple's my favorite color. And then I just colored in all of the edges with these four purple shades. And the first actual page that I decided to do was to close your eyes and connect the dots from memory. But I actually started out wanting to make this as um the one that's like poke holes in this page using a pencil but i figured like once i kind of made it i was just like no this would work for the other page better so i drew 11 and i drew that by hand but then i took some ego waffles and i printed these out from the internet because it would have taken me way too long to draw these and like i just didn't want to so i printed them out but my printer was kind of out of yellow ink so that's why they're kind of like you know not the best but it's okay and so i just cut out all of the ego waffles and i also cut out the 11 drawing that i did and i wanted to have like the big ego waffle behind 11 i don't know to be kind of like a moon or something like that i don't know i just thought it looked cool so i did that and then i just sketched out the ego waffle logo and not gonna lie, I traced this off of my phone. I just pulled up the image on my phone and then put the paper over it and traced it. Um, and then I just colored it in with a red marker. And then I found this scrapbook paper that I had and I thought that it would be good to use for a background. So I just took that and I put it in between the book and I traced out the shape of the page so that I could cut the scrapbook paper down to the size of the page. And then I just took my 11 drawing and the Eggo waffle that I printed out, as well as the Eggo logo that I drew, and I just placed them onto the paper. And I thought it needed something more, so I decided to write, should I stay or should Eggo? Because that's like, I see that on a lot of Stranger Things merchandise that people make, and I just think that it's kind of funny, so I decided to put that in there. And then I just glued everything down, and as you can see, I colored in my 11 drawing. And I'm really proud of this drawing, not gonna lie, like, the eyes took me so long to do, I, like, erased them, like, 50 times. But, yeah, so I just glued everything in there. And then I took that same scrapbook paper and I traced out the other page, and I added a lot of the smaller Eggo waffles to this page. And so this was the point where, like, the purple Eggo waffles were really starting to bother me, so I decided to color them in with a yellow crayon, and I actually don't think it looks that bad. And this was the point where I decided that this page would probably work better for the close your eyes and connect the dots from memory page. So I took some embroidery thread and it's green and I just taped it behind the Eggo waffles and I like peeled them up and going like thinking back on this I probably should have just like drew the lines with paint but you know I just like to make things difficult for myself. And once that was done I just drew on the Christmas lights with some puffy paint. And I just did dots of green for the top part of the Christmas lights, and then I just made a bunch of different colors. And so this is how the finished page came out, and I'm really happy with it. I've never seen anybody do this before, and I don't know, I just really like the way it came out. And once everything was dry, I just glued it onto the page with a glue stick. And so the next page that I decided to do was the make a paper chain page. And so I just cut out the little pieces of like the paper chain that were in there. And I drew this picture of Melanie Martinez crybaby like thing. And this is inspired by a shirt that I have. So I just looked at the shirt and I drew a picture of her. And so then I just took the paper that I drew it on and I cut it to the size of the book. And then I just went ahead and I colored in the picture that I drew. And I decided that I didn't want to use the 
paper chain strips that they had in the book so instead I took some construction paper and I just cut it into a really tiny pieces and then I put them together like a paper chain and once the paper chain was as long as I liked it I just went ahead and taped that into the book And so this is how the finished page came out, and I'm really in love with this. Um, I've never seen anybody do this, and I just think that it's really cute. And I love Melanie Martinez, so I think that it's fun that I got to incorporate her into the book. And the last page that I decided to do in the book this week is place sticky things here. And I decided to be really basic with this. I know that literally everyone does this, but I have so many stickers. And so I just put stickers all over the page. And I really like the way this looks. I just love like stickers and like sticker collages. And so, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you'd like to see more of this type of video. I'm still going to be making, obviously, all of my other DIY videos, like my squishy videos have been doing really well. I actually have another one coming up for the next video. Any suggestions are always appreciated, so leave them down below. And comment down below what your favorite page from my Wreck This Journal was. My favorite was definitely this Stranger Things themed page, and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. So let me know, know down below which page was your favorite. And as always, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Musical.ly, and Tumblr. They're all Weller Megs. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!